today's video, we're going to try to build hovercrafts using battery powered leaf blowers. I remember back in like old Boys Life magazines or something like that, there would be advertisements in the back for like you could buy plans of how to build a hoverboard, it said, Boy using a, a vacuum. Yes, yeah, the Boy Scout magazine. I want one. Girl's life. There were these plans that said you could buy, it was like how to build a hoverboard using a vacuum cleaner. And at the time, I had no idea what that meant. And when I was picturing a hoverboard, of course, I was thinking like back to the future, hovers off the ground, not <laughs> touching. I never bought the plans. I don't know exactly what they showed how to do, but there have been other people who have made hoverboards. Only boys. Here's the basic idea. The plan for hovercraft using a board and a blower of some kind has been around for a while, but I've never seen one that used battery powered leaf blowers. We're gonna try and build a couple today and then race them around. I've seen them done with a gas powered leaf blower and I've seen them done with things on cords, but I've never seen one done with a no, battery powered leaf blower. Not just freestanding. Yeah, and I mean, a gas powered one is freestanding, but then mm -hmm. it's really loud and you know blowing fumes in your face the whole time. So I think battery powered leaf blowers powerful enough for this are probably fairly recently available. I don't mean like this week, but like within the last few years, I think battery tech and just the, the design of these has gotten a lot better. So we got our hands on a couple of leaf blowers that are supposed to be quite powerful. They describe themselves as gas-like power. They put out about 500 CFM, that's cubic feet per minute at about 110 miles per hour. That is comparable to some lower end gas blowers, uh, but it's really close to a lot of plug-in electric blowers and it seems to have about as much power. So I think we're gonna have good results with these. Yeah. The one thing, of course, I'm not sure about is how much battery life we will get out of one. It, it might be fairly limited, like five-ish minutes or so. Okay. But we'll build it and then we'll find out. So to start off, we've just got some maybe half-inch plywood. Nice. So we've got our board and we're gonna try and cut a couple of circles out of this board. Okay. So we can have round, I round cover boards. We're doing that with the jigsaw? Uh, yeah. Nose goes. All right. Guys, I can cut a straight line with a jigsaw. Circles are not my forte. Here's the general plan. So we'll have a circle cut out of this plywood. Basically, yep. you know, this is a four feet by eight feet and we're just gonna go for four foot diameter circles. We and should be able to make get two. two. And then we'll have our uh, leaf blower up on top of the hovercraft, pointing down into the underneath part. I like it. I am a sucker for this flat iron by rust -Oleon. It's not, I love Krylon more, but this will do in a pinch. Always put your dust coat down first. We have a loose cut of the tarp around the disc and it's not terribly important that it's really accurate or nice. But now we're just gonna start taking the tarp and folding it up over and then maybe an inch away from the edge, start stapling it in with a staple gun. This paint that I'm kneeling on, it's like 90% dry, a little sticky. The staple should do a pretty good job of holding the tarp in place, but just to make sure that it's not leaking air, we're gonna go around the whole seal with some very strong tape. All right guys, so we actually needed a place for us to test out our hovercrafts and we needed a place with a smooth floor. So I figured the warehouse of my other job would be a really good choice. So here we are at the Evermore Creative Studio. That's the other place where I work. This is Chance LaPre. He is the project director. Yep. Project director. Can you tell us a little bit about Evermore? 
Evermore is, I guess in a, the best way to say it, is with a question. Have you ever wanted to go on an adventure with Gandalf? Or be sorted into a Hogwarts house? I wanted to be Link from Zelda. It sounds like adventure was right up your alley, right? Okay, yes. That's what Evermore is at its heart. It's a living live action experience park where we bring fantasy to the forefront and unlock imagination. It is pretty cool. It is an interactive uh, theme park. Is that the right word? Yeah. You walk in, you are the main hero of a quest. You have a lot of NPCs who get to talk to you that are trained actors. There is practical effects, there's special effects. The entire place is amazing, guys. And this studio is kind of where the magic happened. So now what we're going to do is we are going to use a lot of space that Chance has been so kind to uh, to let us hopefully not destroy and uh, test out some hoverboards. We have insurance. Okay, so uh, for the next event, we are going to put Christy on it because she weighs like 115 pounds soaking wet and so I just really want to see how far she flies. Uh, to, to give some detail, we originally were building it with one leaf blower mm -hmm. and it worked like a little bit but only just barely so, so the the claims on the machines that they have gas like power is eh. Eh, it felt strong but when it had like resistance to it it didn't do so great um, so we decided to put both on one board to give it a little extra juice and now we're going to try it like that and then we also took the other board and we put our plug-in one that we know works on so we've got one wireless and one wired hoverboard. <laughs> She's leaning too far back. It's working. This might be the first hovercraft that is only battery powered. Should we try the other one? Yep. If I put all my weight on it, it kind of overpowers it, but I can use it as a nice hovering scooter, which is also fun. Go, go, go! We cleaned your floor for you. Thanks. So a slight problem with this plan, I don't have the same balance or coordination that Nate has. Okay, so for the next thing that we want to do... Bowling! We're going to yeah, do bowling okay, gonna, on a hovercraft. We're, we're, we're going to bowl on a hovercraft. We got some 2 by 4 set up as lovely pins. Um, yeah. And I'm the bowling ball. All right, hovercraft. The little one, I would say probably... Put kids on it. Yeah, if you weigh less than 80 pounds, it probably works great. Yep. Uh, the one with the cord, this is like a $60 leaf blower from Amazon, and it works super well. So it's much It's very fun, powerful, guys. and like I can just stand or sit on the middle of it. It holds me up great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely super fun. So wireless works a little bit. If we had wanted to go for like the three or four hundred dollar leaf blowers, maybe we would have gotten enough power. One wasn't really enough power. Two was mm, still not really enough power. Uh, it's fun for a scooter. It is. It works as a scooter. Yeah, hover scooter. You could like zip tie it down. You could add a handle or something like that. Lots of other things you could do to increase the scooter functionality of it. Uh, we got more battery life out of it than I thought we would. I don't think we've drained these. Yeah, they're that's at three quarters full still. With the cord, it does have more power. It's more stable, it works better. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. Get a good long extension cord. You're gonna be able to do quite a bit on it, including bowling. There you go, guys. DIY hovercrafts. That's too fast! <laughs> I, I gently 
gently prod you in the right direction and let you float like an angel until you hit him and you're just like, go! Destroy all the pins! There's no ball return. There's just a wall of silicone and fiberglass. But at least I got a strike, so that's what matters. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got more cool stuff to see coming out. Click the button right there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss one of those cool videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.